Hello friends, and welcome to Storytime with Miss Macintosh. Not that long ago I read a book called Pinkalicious. It's about a little girl who eats too many cupcakes and turns pink. Mm -hmm. Well, today I, I found a book with that little girl in it, but this book is called Silverlicious. Mm -hmm. I haven't read this book yet. But maybe you have an idea why it's called Silverlicious. Maybe she eats, accidentally swallows a coin and turns silver. Maybe you already have an idea. Maybe you've already read this book. If you have an idea, put your little finger up. Some of you have. All right, let's find out together. I had a wiggly tooth. It had been wiggling for days. Oh, I think we now know what this book is going to be about. Maybe her tooth will be silver. Let's see. I wiggled my tooth at breakfast, and I wiggled it at lunch. At snack time, I saw that Peter was eating a chocolicious cookie. I grabbed it and took a big bite. Look, my tooth came out. Yay! I said, oh. but something was wrong. Oh no, Mommy! It wasn't just any tooth. It was my sweet tooth. This cookie has no flavor. It tastes like dirt. Oh dear, you lost your sweet tooth? asked Mommy. How dreadful, said Daddy. That's what you get for stealing my cookie, said Peter sniffling. What am I going to do without my sweet tooth? Uh-oh. There's her tooth in her hand. I know. I grabbed my pink-tastic pen and started to write. I took the note under my pillow with my tooth and kept one eye open all night. I had always wanted to know exactly what the tooth fairy looks like. Tonight I would see her. There she is with her eye open. All right, let's read the note. Dear Tooth Fairy, today my sweet tooth came out. What should I do? Could you please send me something sweet to eat until a new tooth comes in? Love, Pinkalicious. Oh, that's a good idea. All right, let's see if she can stay awake all night long. Bing, 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 went my alarm. I must have fallen asleep. I looked for my tooth, but it was gone. In its place were three red candy hearts and a note. Dearest Pinkalicious, how art thou? Toothalina, your personal tooth fairy, was busy last night. Unfortunately, a girl in New Zealand was having her molars out. Toothalina had to fly there to help her. It takes a long time for a tooth fairy to fly because her wings are so small. Toothalina asked me to help you. I hope you don't mind. Forever yours, Carlos Cupid. Wow. Look at that beautiful room. He has the whole room decorated. He didn't just give her some candies. That would be an awesome treat to wake up to. Let's see if she's going to like those candy hearts. I've had candy hearts before on Valentine's Day, and I don't know if they're very sweet. Let's see what she thinks. Peter, come quick, I shouted. Cupid was here. Did you see him? Did you? Did you? Asked Peter. No, I missed him. I guess I fell asleep. Look, he left me candy. I put a couple of red hearts in my mouth. Eek! These are red hearts. My mouth is burning. I yelled. They taste like coal. Yum. They taste great to me, said Peter. And look at all the hearts in your room. Cupid must really like you. Cupid loves everybody. Where is my tooth fairy? I want my tooth fairy, I said, stomping my foot. I don't think she likes all the decorations in her room. Let's see what's going to happen. Oh, even the teddy bear got a flower. My plan was stay. My plan was to stay awake all night long 
so I could take a picture of Cupid to show my class. I had my camera ready. I wrote another note. Dear Carlos Cupid, thank you so much for the Red Hots. Unfortunately, they were disgusting. I would prefer to have something sweet. Love, thank you, Alicious. All right, let's see if she's going to be able to stay awake this time. Bink, 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 went my alarm. I'd fallen asleep again. I looked for my note. It was gone. In its place were three jelly beans and a new note. Oh, who do you think brings jelly beans and leaves little eggs? Oh, she's got a red one, an orange one, and a blue one. Dear Pink Delicious, excuse me, the candy wasn't sweet enough for you. Poor Carlos Cupid, his heart was broken. Last night when he read your letter saying that you didn't like his candy, he asked me to help you. Normally at this time of year, I am having an extravagant vacation in exciting Ecuador. But I decided perhaps I might be able to help you. Please enjoy the jelly beans. Kind regards, Edgar Easter Bunny. P.S. Tuthalina is in India helping an elephant with a tusk ache. <laughs> oh, and this is her prince where he left all the special eggs for her. Let's see if she likes the jelly beans. When I tasted the jelly beans, they felt like little pebbles in my mouth. Yuck, I said, spitting them out. These jelly beans taste awful, and look at all the footprints the bunny left around my room, I complained. I don't see anything wrong with it at all, said Peter. Looks like he left eggs everywhere. He grabbed a basket and started to collect as many as he could. She doesn't look very happy. Doesn't look like she likes all these beautiful decorations in her room. But Peter does. He's got a basket full of eggs. I wonder if there's chocolate inside. Oh, and now her bunny is in the basket with all the eggs. Oh, there's even an egg on top of her pitcher. Oh, and there's a carrot from the Easter Bunny. All right, let's see what's going to happen next. Hmm. Where is Toothalina, I wondered. That night, I wrote another note. I had my camera ready, plus a net, so I could catch that bunny if he had the nerve to hop around my room again. I would definitely stay awake tonight. There's her note. Dear Edgar Easter Bunny, Thank you so much for the eggs. Unfortunately, I lost my sweet tooth, so the jelly beans had no flavor. Could you please, please, please ask Toothalina to come and leave me something sweet? Love, Pink Delicious. All right, let's see if she can stay awake. Oh, she even has a whistle. Pink, 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 went my alarm. I fell asleep again. This time I found three tiny candy canes and a note. There's two. And there's the third one with the note. Oh, now her bedroom is decorated like Christmas. There's gingerbread house and gingerbread man. And lots of candy canes. I hope she likes them. All right, let's read the note. Dear Pinkalicious, I am so happy that I got a break from all the toys I make. Morning, noon, and night. Being a tooth fairy is, much, is a much better job. Toothalina had to fly to Japan to celebrate with a little boy who is finally getting his braces off. She asked me to help out. Have a very merry day. Elf number 351. Mm -mm. I don't think she likes the Christmas decorations in her room either. I licked a candy cane. Gross. It tasted just like hard toothpaste. What a mess. There was snow everywhere. Do you think he left some toys here too, asked Peter. You sure are lucky. When I lose a tooth, I just get a few coins under my pillow. Oh, there's Peter under the bed looking for presents. Mm, 
I wonder if that is real snow in her room. Because if you have real snow in your bedroom, what will happen? It would melt and great big puddles would appear. Let's see what's going to happen next. Oh! But I wanted something sweet from the Tooth Fairy. Something that would taste good until my new tooth grows in. I want Toothalina. That night, I was ready. Oh, and even Peter's going to help out and wait. I think Peter's enjoying all the treats that all these people are leaving her. There's her alarm clock. And there she is. She's not even going to lay down because she might fall asleep. Let's see what happens. Oh, she left another note. Let's see what it says. Dear Elf number 351, thank you so much for the candy canes. Unfortunately, they tasted bad. Could you please, please, pretty please, with sugar plum flavoring on top, ask Toothalina to come and leave me something sweet. Perhaps she is the only one who can help me out. Pink Alicious. Oh, there's mommy and daddy peeking. Bing, 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 went my alarm. I slept right through it. When I finally woke up, I found nothing. My note was gone, but there was nothing else. I was so disappointed. Nothing from Cupid, their Easter Bunny, or even Elf number 351. Then I noticed a teeny tiny slip of paper under my chair and three silver coins. There's the note and three silver coins. All right, let's read the note. Dear Pink Delicious, sweetness comes from the inside. When you are sweet, the world and all the delicious things in it will be sweet too. With love, Toothalina. P.S. Don't forget to brush and floss, floss after every meal. Oh, they didn't catch the tooth fairy, but they did catch a bear. Huh? What does that mean, I wondered. Hadn't I been sweet? Maybe I wasn't sweet when I bit into Peter's chocolicious cookie or stomped my foot or spit out the candy. Maybe I could have been sweeter than Cupid, the Easter Bunny and Elf number 351. I was really very lucky that they came and visited me. I wrote a new note. I folded it up for later. I began to feel much better. Hey, Pinkalicious! Did you know that silver coins are actually made of chocolate? asked Peter, stealing the coins out of my hand and running around the room. Uh-oh, I hope he's not going to eat it. Let's see. Peter, you can have the chocolates because you are usually such a nice brother, I said sweetly. Huh? Mm-hmm. I don't want them. You can have them back. I'm sorry I took them, Peter said, handing them back. Oh, that's nice that he's giving them back, and he's saying sorry. She looks happy now. All right, let's read her last note. Dear Edgar Easter Bunny, Carlos Cupid, Elf number 351, and Toothalina, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedules to visit me and for leaving me red hots, jelly beans, candy canes, and three silver coins. I'm sorry if I wasn't grateful. You made my room look beautiful. And you are welcome to visit me anytime. Love, Pinkalicious. P.S. I want you all to come back soon. From Peter. Because Peter really enjoyed all those treats and decorations. How about if we share? I said, tasting the chocolate coin. Yummy! It's Silverlicious. I can taste sweet things again. Hooray! From now on, I am always going to be as sweet as my tooth. As my sweet tooth. <laughs> That's a good idea. It's always good to share and to not grab things from our friends or our family members. All right. I hope you enjoyed the story. And I'll see you next time at Storytime with Miss McIntosh. Bye-bye, friends.